Key and Bexie for Rebel News here in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm here today, again really, because another blockade has been erected here in Vancouver at Clark and Hastings. This is where I was about two weeks ago when the Vancouver Police Department set an example for the rest of Canada and every police force in Canada and arrested the thugs that were blockading a lifeline to Canada, and I mean that quite literally. The Port of Vancouver handles nearly 30,000 metric tons of medical and health supplies every year. And it's at a time when medical supplies are already at a premium here in Canada. The N95 mask that many people are buying so that they can avoid contracting the coronavirus. It's uh, the higher grade medical mask. Needless to say, the activity that happens at that port save lives but it's something that the indigenous protesters and frankly the many white people who are protesting on behalf of allegedly on behalf of indigenous people really it's just white people propagating their own environmental radicalism and trying to mask it with this weird indigenous story saying that uh, it's really the wet sweat and plight that they're fighting for when really that's not the case at all the wet sweat and people want to get to work they don't want to be restricted to poverty by these white people anyways the blockade has been going on for over 20 hours now and police are just moving in a release says that they arrested six people they arrested about as many two weeks ago and I called the police department to get uh, some background information on this uh, story to see if they would be pressing charges and here's what they said right now we don't know right now it's just they've been arrested and it's just we're investigating at this time okay we don't have any other information yeah were there charges placed on the individuals that were arrested in the same area about two weeks ago uh, right now, they were just arrested. Yeah, no charges had been laid. Even uh, on the individuals that were arrested two weeks ago in the same location? Yes, no charges. Okay. Uh, could charges yeah. be placed later, or have they been released and, and yeah, that's kind of closed? Yeah, they could. I think we have up to six to, okay. uh, to lay charges, yeah. So many people were upset that the Vancouver Police Department was arresting these people and then just releasing them onto the streets. And after speaking to them, it's clear that, well, they actually have six months to press those charges. Now, I'm not sure what the holdup is, but it sounded to me like the fat lady has not sung yet in this case, and charges may soon be pressed, but we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens. Now, I want to show you some rather entertaining footage of Vancouver's finest arresting one of the last few protesters that remained on the streets. Watch this. Now, while out east, some arrests have finally happened after Justin Trudeau so bravely said that it's time for these blockades to come down after turning on a dime after polling came in when he realized that it maybe wasn't the most popular idea here in Canada to allow radical environmentalists to stop people from getting home to their children after work. Yet again, the Vancouver Police Department set an example to every other police department in this country, especially the ones that are too cowardly to arrest these thugs that are grinding Canada to a halt. Now, it did take Vancouver Police Department a fair amount of time to do this. They had to read out the injunction and a few traffic jams took place throughout the day. Uh, rush hour happened twice over the span of this particular blockade. But at the end of the day, they got it done within 24 hours. And frankly, that's the best that any police department in this country has done, except for, of course, the Albertan Patriots who broke up a blockade within just a few hours of it starting up west of Edmonton. For Rebel News in Vancouver, British Columbia, I'm Keen Bexie. Thanks for watching our coverage here on this pipeline issue. If you want to see more of what we're doing to cover this issue, please go to fakefirstnation.com.